Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info. And today we are looking at the new and upgraded Energy Cube from MoveSpeed. I reviewed the original Energy Cube a while back and if you want to see that review in its entirety, I will leave a link to it over my head and down in the description, but the short version is, for the most part, I liked it. Mostly because it offered a ridiculous amount of stored power and a very small and manageable footprint. In fact, I actually complained about how long it took me to review the thing. Reviewing this thing has been a pain in the ass. I mean, it just wouldn't die because it took me multiple days to fully drain it. Now, part of that was indeed because of the large capacity of the battery, but it was also due to the fact that the original cube only supported charging speeds up to around 20 watts. Well, version two of the Energy Cube changes all that, and that is because the new cube supports up to 100 watt total charging and can support up to 65 watts of charge to a single device when using the cube's high-speed USB-C port. At least that is what MoveSpeed claims, and not that it really matters, but in my testing, I was actually able to pull up to 70 watts of charge. How very convenient. Which means it's not only still great for charging your smaller electronics like your phones, tablets, and Nintendo Switch, you can also charge larger items like laptops while they're in use. At least as long as you're not trying to play something crazy like a flight sim or Diablo 4. And even if you are only planning on charging smaller items, the cube's extra power output can allow you to charge multiple devices and still pull maximum speeds. For example, even when I had the cube pumping out power to three other smartphones, which included my Flip 5 and my iPhone 15 Pro Max, I was still able to activate super fast charging on my S24 Ultra. To do this, you will need to be plugged into one of the Cube's USB-C charging ports. As mentioned earlier, port 1 supports up to around 70 watt charging, and the other USB-C port supports 45 watt charging, both of which should be plenty fast to charge up your phone or other small devices. The USB-A ports in my testing supported around 15 watts of output. This kind of disparity between ports is pretty typical of other power banks we've reviewed on the channel and shouldn't be surprising, but it's still something worth noting. Also, as with all other power banks, the actual output will always vary depending on the type of device you are charging and the speed of charging it supports. Everybody got that? But something that is equally nice about the Cube's USB-C ports is that they also act as the Cube's input ports, which means you can fast charge the Cube itself. And using the fastest USB-C port, the Cube is able to charge up to 80% in just three hours and pull a full charge in just over four hours. And while that might seem like a long time, you have to remember just how much juice this thing can store. The Energy Cube has a capacity of 70,000 milliamp hours and a nominal capacity of 42,000 milliamp hours, which means I was able to charge my Galaxy Flip 5, my iPhone 15 Pro Max, my S24 Ultra, and my work laptop, and I was only able to get the thing down to 37%. I even plugged two very bright 630 lumen lights into the thing, and it still only pulled about 5% of drain per hour total. Not that you will ever need to plug any lights into the Cube, because this new version has its own very bright light built in. And speaking of built in, the Cube's new larger built in display allowed me to track the remaining battery as well as all the amps and voltage the Cube is pulling in or putting out in real time. In fact, if you want to know all the nitty gritty volts and amps the Energy Cube has to offer, you are in luck because I'm going to show you all of that information right now. Now, so far, this new Energy Cube is sounding pretty sweet, and for the most part, it is, but there are some other things about MoveSpeed's latest offering you probably need to know about. Like its predecessor, the new Cube, at 6.5 by 4.5 by 1.75 inches, the footprint of the Cube is relatively small, but weight-wise, it's kind of a chunk, weighing in at almost 3.5 pounds. Also, while the huge storage capacity is a plus in almost all regards, it does mean you can't take it with you on an airplane. There is no IP rating, there's no wireless charging, and unlike the original Energy Cube, the new Cube doesn't have a micro USB port. So if you are more of a vintage tech enthusiast, this could be an issue. Finally, let's talk price. You can grab the new Energy Cube on the Zon right now for 104 USD, or perhaps less if the Amazon gods offer you up a coupon. And for that, you get the Cube, a slick looking braided USB-C to USB-C cable, and the user manual. It is a little more expensive than the original Cube, which as of the release of this video is still available, but honestly, unless you really need that micro USB port, I think the new Cube is probably the way to go, especially if you think you will take advantage of the significantly faster charging speeds. So if you've got around $100 to burn and you're looking for a super high capacity power bank with fast input and output speeds that won't take a lot of room on your desk or in your bag, then MooSpeed's latest version of the Energy Cube might just be worth your attention. As always, I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.